Hello everyone, my name is Felicia Gariello and I am the Vortex Program Coordinator in the Weather Program Office. In today's presentation, I'd like to give you an overview of the Vortex Program and how the Weather Program Office works in collaboration with the National Severe Storms Laboratory to fund projects that increase our understanding of severe weather, improve forecast guidance, and help us learn how to better inform the public on severe weather events. I am part of a three-person team managing this program. Working alongside me is Stephanie Hoekstra, a Vortex Program Coordinator, and Jordan Dale, the Vortex Program Manager in WPO. Together, we work to competitively fund NOAA laboratories, academic partners, and commercial industry through grants and cooperative agreements. The projects we help fund through NSSL explore the storms and conditions that make tornadoes especially dangerous in the southeastern and broader United States. We work closely with the National Sphere Storms Laboratory to find and fund projects that meet both the missions of WPO and NSSL. Before I get into how WPO works with NSSL, a little background on Vortex is needed. Vortex stands for the verification of the origins of rotation in Tornadoes Experiment. This program has seen some changes in the past few years, including changing its geographic scope from the southeast to the entirety of the United States, allowing projects to be focused on anywhere in the U.S. with tornadic activity. Although the name and scope has changed, Vortex still aims to bring together meteorologists and social scientists to collaborate in the research program. Both groups of scientists are crucial in order to meet the goals of this program, which are to understand how environmental factor characteristics affect the formation, intensity, structure, and path of tornadoes, as well as determining the best methods for communicating forecast uncertainty of these events to the public and evaluating public response. In order to make these goals a reality, NSSL works together with WPO to run competitions to find and fund eligible research projects. The management of competition tasks is still being optimized through each competition that is run, but here's a look at how it has been done in the past. Through each step in the competition process, the tasks are split between WPO and NSSL, depending on who is best equipped to complete it in the most efficient and correct manner. Before the competition begins, NSSL and WPO work together to develop priorities and objectives that fit with the upcoming competition. Once the competition has been launched, NSSL takes over to review submitted letters of intent. They will identify reviewers, conduct the review, and determine recommendations. NSSL will send over the recommendations to WPO, who will then send out notifications to the principal investigators, or PIs, either encouraging them or discouraging them from submitting a proposal to the competition. This is to help limit the number of proposals that come in and need to be reviewed. Before reviewing the proposals, NSSL identifies reviewers who will review the submitted proposals and score them based on a rubric. Once the proposal deadline has passed, WPO takes over to prepare the proposals for review, conduct the review, and compile the results. After all of the proposals have been reviewed, WPO and NSSL discuss and agree on selections. WPO then prepares the selection package and sends out selection notification emails to the PIs. The second to last step is for WPO to create all the awards and grants online, and then finally NSSL takes over to manage and track the projects through the end of their performance period. Very much like the work, the budget is also split between the Weather Program Office and the National Severe Storms Laboratory. The chart shown here shows NSSL funding that goes towards grants every year. Through FY20, WPO assisted NSSL in managing competitions with no funding, but as of fiscal year 21, WPO receives half a million in funding to assist with managing Vortex USA. I want to take some time now to show you some of the types of projects Vortex funds and the types of research they are participating in. In the Vortex program, there is a severe storm field campaign taking place across the Southeast United States in the late winter and spring periods of 2022 and 2023. This campaign is called Propagation, Evolution, and Rotation in Linear Storms, or PERILS. 
Perils will leverage dozens of in-situ and ground-based remote sensing platforms to characterize the near-storm environments and internal storm processes associated with tornado-producing systems and other non-classical tornadic storms. One project funded that is taking advantage of the Perils Field Campaign is titled Observational Investigations of the Antecedent Boundary Layer Characteristics Slash Vulnerability and Internal Structure of Severe Quasi-Linear Convective Systems. This project is run by Kevin Knupp from the University of Alabama Huntsville and Todd Murphy from the University of Louisiana Monroe. The goal of this project is to further improve the understanding and forecasting of tornadoes and other convective hazards in the southeast, as well as to improve understanding of the spatiotemporal variability of the boundary layer and the lower free atmosphere in the near-storm environment associated with tornadic versus non-tornadic storms in the southeast. To achieve their objectives, they will be actively participating in the Perils Field Campaign, which includes pre-campaign planning, execution of the field campaign through data collection and documentation, quality control of data sets, and archival at designated sites, including a public site for community access. By participating in Perils, the PIs will have access to the latest severe weather data to use in their project. This is an example of the external research community partnering with a NOAA laboratory to advance Vortex objectives. To close out this presentation, I want to talk about how the first part of the Perils campaign went in 2022. It was highly successful with data being collected on 16 total tornadoes across four observing periods. Several of the tornadoes had very close range data collected on them, with the NOAA X pole radar collecting one of its closest range observations to date. This data will be extremely useful not only to the project talked about in the previous slide, but to so many other researchers and forecasters. Thank you for taking the time to learn about WPO and NSSL's Vortex program. This collaboration helps fund many projects that will improve our knowledge of severe weather and forecast guidance. We hope this presentation was informative and we look forward to answering any questions you may have at the live Q&A. Thank you.